Hey James friends, this is Calabrios. And you are very welcome to my cartel. Now think about the this is Matthew Macklin. We'll be getting a shot at the title on June 29th at Foxwoods Resort Casino in Mashantucket, Connecticut. And that's good news. The bad news is that Macklin will be fighting WBA middleweight champion Gennady Golovkin, who may be the best middleweight in the entire division. Now, a lot of boxing fans believe that to be true. Now, I can't think of anything that, uh, you know, see the 30-year-old Macklin as being the best fighter in the division. In fact, Macklin is a struggling fighter at this point in his career. I mean, with him having lost two out of his last three fights in the past two years, Macklin, uh, you know, had this to say about the Golovkin anyway. He says uh, he's probably the most hyped fighter in the sport right now. People have made him out to be this monster. You know, uh, I don't think that uh, Macklin understands how good Golovkin is because he hasn't done his homework on, uh, you know, these talent. You know, if you had uh, seen that uh, Golovkin had beaten Andre Durrell, Lucien Brut, you know, Andy Lee, Matthew Grove, uh, you were done this to Spain, and he got last to in the amateur ranks at the pro level. Golovkin has, uh, you know, wins over Gabriel Rosado in Noboriro Ushida. Now, obviously, Golovkin's pro experience is still lacking at this early point in his career, but he's still trying to get to the top fighters to face him. You don't uh, do much when you call out the likes of Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., Andre Ward, Sergio Martinez, you know, Daniel Gill, uh, Felix Sturm, and uh, Peter Quillen, and they uh, failed to take you up on the offer. To show you how desperate Golovkin is to get a big fight, he's found here to drop down to 154 and fight the winner of the April 20th fight between WBC Junior Middleweight Champion Sol Canelo Alvarez and the uh, VOVH and Boston Trout. But you can already guess what the answer will be for the winner of that fight when asked to fight Golovkin. It's going to be a big no. You know, Canelo already knows how talented Golovkin was after sparring with him not long ago. And he's not going to want to mix it up with him in real life and end up getting knocked out or badly schooled.